Jacob Johann Baron von Wechskull was a Baltic German biologist who worked in the fields of muscular physiology, animal behavior studies, and the cybernetics of life. However, his most notable contribution is the notion of Umwelt, used by semiotician Thomas Sabiok and philosopher Martin Heidegger. His works established by a semiotics as a field of research. Early life. The son of Alexander Baron von Wechskull and Sophie von Hahn, Jacob von Wechskull was born in the Keblas estate, Michlai, Governorate of Estonia. His aristocratic family lost most of their fortune by expropriation during the Russian Revolution. Needing to support himself, Wechskull took a job as professor at the University of Hamburg where he founded the Institut für Umweltforschung. Wechskull was interested in how living beings perceive their environment. Wechskull argued that organisms perceived the experience of living in terms of species-specific, spatio-temporal, self-in-world, subjective reference frames that he called umwelt. These umwelten are distinctive from what Wechskull termed the umgebung, which would be the living beings' surroundings as seen from the likewise, peculiar perspective or umwelt of the observer. The umwelt is composed of two parts, the innerwelt or self-oriented features, and the umgebung, or world-oriented features. Together, they describe the individual's subjective viewpoint, or embedding, which has the property of being ubiquitous, as compared to the observer's objective viewpoint, which has the property of being universal. Subjectivity and objectivity are important topics in philosophy of mind. Umwelt. Wechskull defines the umwelt as the perceptual world in which an organism exists and acts as a subject. By studying how the senses of various organisms like ticks, sea urchins, amoebae, jellyfish and sea worms work, he was able to build theories of how they experience the world. Because all organisms perceive and react to sensory data as signs, Wechskull argued that they were to be considered as living subjects. This argument was the basis for his biological theory in which the characteristics of biological existence could not simply be described as a sum of its non-organic parts, but had to be described as subject and a part of a sign system. The biosemiotic turn in Jacob von Wechskull's analysis occurs in his discussion of the animal's relationship with its environment. The world is for him an environment world which is constituted by a more or less broad series of elements, called carriers of significance, or marks, which are the only things that interest the animal. Agambin goes on to paraphrase one example from Wechskull's discussion of a tick, saying, The eyeless animal finds the way to her watch point, at the top of a tall blade of grass, with the help of only its skin's general sensitivity to light. The approach of her prey becomes apparent to this blind and deaf bandit only through her sense of smell. The odor of butyric acid, which emanates from the sebaceous follicles of all mammals, works on the tick as a signal that causes her to abandon her post and fall blindly downward toward her prey. If she is fortunate enough to fall on something warm then she has attained her prey, the warm-blooded animal, and thereafter needs only the help of her sense of touch to find the least hairy spot possible and embed herself up to her head in the cutaneous tissue of her prey. She can now slowly suck up a stream of warm blood. Thus, for the tick, the umwelt is reduced to only three carriers of significance. The odor of butyric acid, which emanates from the sebaceous follicles of all mammals, the temperature of 37 degrees Celsius, the hairiness of mammals, Theoretical biology. Von Wechskull anticipated many computer science ideas, particularly in the field of robotics, roughly 25 years before these things were invented. Wechskull views organisms in terms of information processing. He argues every organism has an outer boundary which defines an umwelt, rather than the general meaning. Wechskull's concept draws on the literal meaning of the German word, which is, surround world, to define the umwelt as the subjectively perceived surroundings about which information is available to organism through its senses. 
This is a subjective Weltan Chaung, or worldview, and is therefore fundamentally different from the black box concept, which is derived from the objective Newtonian viewpoint. The organism has senses that report the state of the world and effectors that can change parts of the world. He distinguished the effector as the logical opposite of the sensor, or sense organ. Senses and effectors are linked in a feedback loop. Sensor input is processed by a Merck organ and effectors are controlled by a work organ. The modern term, sensory motor, used in an active theories of cognition encompasses these concepts. He further distinguishes the um bunk from the other world which is reported directly by senses and is therefore the only unmediated reality, immediately knowable to the organism. The nature of the um bagung world relationship is relevant to the later theories of embodied cognition. This is also similar to Kant's phenomenon and noumenon but derived logically from the properties of the senses. What we now call a feedback loop, he calls a function circle, and circle seems to be something like system. He uses the term melody to mean something close to algorithm. He coins around 75 technical terms, and a proper understanding of his book would require clearly defining them in modern terms and understanding their relations. He notices qualia comes close to object-oriented programming uses the image of a helmsman which later showed up as cybernetics and makes a good guess about DNA. He has a large number of ideas, although not expressed clearly in modern terms. His metaphysics is hyper-Kantian space is a set of direction symbols. He rejects Darwin and says nothing of God. Organisms are based on something called plan, the origin of which we cannot know. Influence. Works by scholars such as K. Levy Cole connect Wex Cole's studies with some areas of philosophy such as phenomenology and hermeneutics. Jacob von Wexkull is also considered a pioneer of semiotic biology, or biosemiotics. However despite his influence, for example, he is still not widely known, and his books are mostly out of print in German and in English. A paperback French translation of Streisuga Duk die Welten von Tieren und Menschen, A Stroll Through the Welten of Animals and Humans, of 1934, is currently in print. This book has been translated in English as a foray into the worlds of animals and humans with A Theory of Meaning by Jacob von Wexkull translated by Joseph D. O'Neill Introduction by Dorian Sagan. The other available book is Theoretical Biology, a reprint of the 1926 translation of Theoretische Biology. Foray is a popular introduction while Theoretical Biology is intended for an academic audience. Family his sons were the physician Thur von Wexgull and journalist Goster von Wexgull. His daughter was Sophie Louise Damajanti von Wexgull. His grandson is the writer Jacob von Wexgull. In popular culture, Wexgull's ideas about how organisms create their own concept of time are described in Peter Hoke's novel Borderliners and contrasted with Isaac Newton's view of time as something that exists independent of life.